hello and welcome to this affinity designer affinity photo tutorial about getting an embroidery effect this is that version two as i made one previously which was an adaptation of a photoshop tutorial which had quite a lot of different steps and adjustments and though very good i sort of have pared that down a little bit and altered some of the adjustments slightly um, to make a sort of slightly easier version and hopefully it does look different as well and as I said it can be done in designer and in photo with this one I did in designer and although I've opened it in designer this one I made in affinity photo difference being here in photo I left the outline that sort of looks like stitching in black and the Affinity Designer version, I sort of made it a very similar colour to the texture that I was using. So you can go either way with that. Now, as I know absolutely nothing about embroidery, whether this effect is a natural thing when it comes to embroidery, I don't know. But I think it looks quite effective, be it in the colour we have or in black. Now... The freebies that I've used to make this. The first one comes from Design Bundles and it is 15 denim jean fabric textures. So you just need to sign up with your sort of email address and then you can start downloading for free. And the other texture comes from osbeta.com. Um, as far as I know, these are free. I have not seen a sort of a disclaimer, but there's lots of different threads on here, and the one I used is down here, this one here. Um, so I'll be using that one again. I will add links to this and the denim texture in the write up for this video and also add the links to the version 1 tutorial be it on video or on a written one which you can download I am also in the process of making a written tutorial for this version and that will be added to the links for the write-up for this video so coming back to designer I'm going to do this one in designer the, in the version 1 I did it in photo so the denim fabric which I've picked is number 5 from the 15 denim textures but you can use any one you want. So once you've opened your texture that you're going to use, and it doesn't have to be denim, it doesn't have to be um, you know, the ones that I've selected, you can find your own denim uh, material or you, and you can find your own embroidery silks and use them. So I'm going to start with the artistic text and the colour I'm going to make white. It's right, white and you want a nice bold font um, otherwise you're not going to see the texture within it. I'm going to use one called attack attack and then I'm just going to sort of draw this out roughly and we're going to go with Affinity Designer. So once you're happy you know with whatever word in or slogan you're going to use I'm just going to resize this and then I'm going to center it center that way and that way so I am once I'm happy with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two copies of this layer you can just press ctrl and j if you want or you can right click on the layers panel for that layer and come down to duplicate and then duplicate again 
and to make this easier I'm just going to rename them you don't have to but I'm going to call this layout one call that layer two and layer three and I'm going to turn off layer three and layer two to start off with and come down to the first text layer and highlight that so now we want our embroidery texture. Now with the texture that I'm going to use, you could right click on this and then save picture as and then load it in. Or you could just right click and sort of click on copy, come back to design or photo. And if this is the layer that you have highlighted, it will paste it above that. So we come to edit and paste. So I'll come to the move tool and I'll just resize this down a bit. I'll put it about there for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a child of layer one text. And you can do this by just clicking on the icon for this texture layer and dragging it down and into the number one text layer and you'll get a blue line coming across and if it comes just to the edge of the A icon here then you know that that is the right time to let go of the mouse button and it will drop that down and make it a child of that layer and as you can see it has already added the texture into part of the um, text that we have here. So all I need to do now is resize this so it fills up the whole of the text. Let me just zoom out slightly. And you can rotate that text if you want. If you want it to say, for example, you want the grain of the embroidery to go the same way as the grain in the denim which is what I'm going to try for. Let me just resize that that way. Alright I think that's all in there so I'll press ctrl and zero to come back to making that the full size. Now that I'm happy with its positioning and rotation and what have you what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and highlight on the actual texture layer. So this is the embroidery texture is no longer the highlighted layer. And we're going to add effects to the overall layer. And to do that, I'm going to click on the FX icon that's down here in the layers panel. Just move this to one side. And we're going to start with bevel and emboss. So I'm going to put a tick into bevel and emboss. Click on the word to get the options for beveling and emboss. And the settings will be the type will change from pillow to inner. The radius I'm going to make 22 and soften I'm going to make four and I'm going to leave the other settings as they are and the default settings and then I'm going to come to outline I'm going to put a tick into outline click on the word outline to get the options now I'm going to select a color from the texture that we have here so I'm going to click in the color box here and this is where you would pick your color but I'm going to use the eyedropper to select a color from the texture so I'm just going to click and hold on the eyedropper and drag it out and I'm going to go for a sort of one of the darker brown colors within this texture and then when I let go of the mouse button that color is in this little circle here but it's not actually set yet you need to click on that circle to set the color to that color so now the outline will be in this color and 
I'm going to set the radius at 10 and I'm going to change the blend mode now I find that hard light and overlay gives the two best results um, that I've found so far the overlay doesn't work so much well on this particular denim but it has worked quite well on other denims um, so it might depend on your material image that you're using so hard light or even vivid light in this particular case you can just about see the edge but I think I might go back to hard light because I can I don't know whether you can see this on on the video but I think that does show up slightly better um, on hard light and that would be the end of the alterations for layer one moving on to layer two so I'm going to click on number two to highlight it and then put a tick to make it visible now what we want here is we're going to lose all of the white pixels and you don't do that from lowering the opacity because that will lose everything that is on that layer and we don't want that we just want to lose it from the text area so again we'll come to the FX icon and down the bottom here it's got fill opacity so if I drop this down to zero we'll be losing all of the white but you know some of these effects that we now add will have an effect even though there's no actual visible uh, pixels there so what we're going to do again we're going to go with outline put a tick in the word outline and then click on the word to get the options and I'm going to raise the radius up to about quite high we're going to go to about 15 oh it's easier to type this in 15 and we're going to change the color uh, blend mode to color burn which is that one and we're going to leave it on outside but for the fill style we're going to go with contour which gives you this sort of gradient image inside this box here so if you want to stick with the black outline you could sort of leave it as it is or if you click inside this box here you can get the options to change the color so if you wanted to change the color of the t to the texture again you can click on the icon well, it's already highlighted the black so you can click in this color box here and like before you can use the eyedropper to pick a darker color from within this texture here and then click on the circle to make that the color for the gradient so you've got the um, you know that color within the outline and then it's just a just the last thing to do is like the alignment now you can leave it outside or you could have it on inside which in this particular case I think looks a bit better or center which is not so good I think in this particular um, texture I think inside works quite good I think in previous ones I've done and test runs outside look good so it depends on what you want and what settings you want to use you, I mean like you can change the blend modes maybe and change how much the radius it's up to you go with whatever works with your material and whatever you know you want to get out of this and so if we close that 
you could also just lower the opacity of that layer so you are now affecting that outline and just go with what you think works now for me that on this particular material that sort of is about 75 percent and I quite like the way that looks so I'm going to leave that on 75 percent now if you're happy with how this looks you could stop now you know save export it as it is or you could sort of just go on a little bit here and highlight layer 3 make that visible and then we're going to change the whole blend mode of this to color which is down the bottom here somewhere here we go color and that will sort of change that yellowy orangey text color, um, texture color to a sort of a white color if I lower this opacity right down to zero that's the color we started with so you could just tone down the color just by increasing the opacity I mean 100% will make it sort of white but you could find a color opacity in the middle area maybe and just tone down that texture and I quite like that, that's on about 34%. So basically that would be um, that uh, uh, tutorial finished. You can save this and export it as you want. But if you wanted to, say for example, have a different colour, you could highlight the child layer that we had that's got the texture and then add a recolor adjustment and change the color of your texture that way I mean you could go with green for example and then tone down how strong that is so you could go with that let me just hide that and go back to where we were so that's the color without the recolor and that is is with the recolor or if you didn't like this particular texture um, let's pick another texture from here um, what about that one if I right click that one and copy And what I'll do is I will paste that above the previous texture and that will alter how that looks. There we go. So, you know, that's how it would look with a different texture. So you can go with either that texture or that texture or any other texture you want to use. Um, so that is it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.